Previously on Mincraft. Um, Zach and I need to get a bunch of test certificates together because we're planning on making an iron farm. Let's turn that off. Don't want them spawning. Come here, babe. Oh, this is a this is an unforeseen hazard. I don't actually want him to fall in the lava. Maybe if he just stays like correctly aggroed on me, he won't fall in the lava. Ooh. What? Motherfucking thorns. Glorious. Okay. Okay, sunlight? You good with sunlight? Well, it's too bad, because here it comes. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Minceraft. Yeah, let's go for it. Yeah, awesome. And uh, today, we're going to be doing actually several things. Uh, first off, I want to take advantage of that coal trade with the... Uh, uh, the test certificate. I want to see how many. I want to see how many stacks of coal I can give him before he says he just stops. You know, like he's like no. Um, I'm gonna start with that. See where that goes. And then what I'm gonna do is Zach actually finished two other spawners. He finished a skeleton spawner and a spider spawner, and he hooked them both up to the the Nether hub. And I want to set. Uh, I want to set down tracks so that we can go to their uh, go to those whenever we want. But, uh, <clears throat> sorry, I've been sick. I actually took the day off today, and, uh, yeah, I stayed in bed till, like, 2 a.m., and it was great. Okay. See how many of this we can do? Because eventually, eventually, I believe, he doesn't, he doesn't want to trade anymore. Not sure. Really? Is that it? So what now? He stops? So I does he refresh though? So I got eight eight emerald out of that. Is that all he does now though? Is he just stopped straight up? What do you give? Emerald for three bread now. Oh, you can go to the next one. Iron ingot for emerald. Sorry, buddy, that is not happening. At all. Fuck that. Okay. Maybe once we get our iron spawner, we'll be more inclined to do something like that. But at the moment, I'm just going to go put our coal back. I mean, there's really nothing that we do with coal besides, like, make torches with it. But we have so many torches to begin with, there's, like, no point to it. By the way, I really don't... I, I want to find out a better way of making our... Like, getting into our base, because it's such a pain in the ass. Um, oh, right, right, right. He also made a... Um, right now, I'm just going to be putting down rails, because there's actually, like, a lot of places... A lot of places that need to be railed. Need to rail everything, guys. If you're that horny of a teenager, just rail everything. <laughs> Good joke, man. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. But I am sick and or dying. Okay. So let's grab the stack of powered rails. Bunch of these. I'm actually going to put away some redstone. So I have rails. Uh, string is actually very good. We started the, the spawner and string is actually going to help a lot for when we want to build like dispensers or something. Dispensers are a lot of fun. So, Okay. Rails. Also, what are they called? I like, I like, using, I like using levers to activate the power to activate the powered rails. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, I don't think I showed you guys this yet, but I have been getting absolutely boned with enchanting swords. These are all level 30 enchants. Are you ready for this? Okay. Knockback 2, Bane of Anthropods 4. Bane of Anthropods 4, Looting 2. Knockback 2, Bane of Anthropods 4, Fire Aspect 2. Knockback 2, Smite 4, Sharpness 3, Knockback 2, Sharpness 3, Knockback 2, Knockback 2, Bane of Anthropods 5, Smite 4. Come on! Do you know how much diamond that is? That's 18 diamond. And there was actually more. There's actually more swords that I just, like, got rid of. There was, like, two or three extra ones. I, I enchanted, like, what's 30 times 12? Let's do the math here. Oh, I can't think right now. One sec. Uh, uh, it's like 3,600. Yeah, 3,600 levels. Oh, no, 360 levels. Oops. I added an extra zero. But, uh... Mm-hmm. Just gotta make this. That's how many levels I sunk into freaking enchanting that stuff that just failed epically. I got to show you guys the... 
uh, spider spawner now though, which Zach did. It's really it works really well actually. Not gonna lie. Sorry, sorry. I'm thick. I'm thick, guys. The little bit. Taking the day off from school was so nice though. I woke up at 7.30, I took a shower, and I walked out, and I'm like, I can't do this. I just can't. So, I crawled back into bed and slept till 2.30, and now I feel a lot better, but I'm still showing symptoms of being sick, if you guys know what I mean. You know, like, I'm still coughing and sneezing, but just my body doesn't feel like it's gonna die in, at any second, which is great. It's just great. <coughs> oh boy it's nice to have a day off though I only had two three hour classes today where it's like lab classes they aren't that big a deal oh I accidentally left the spawner on that's a mistake break that I don't know why Zach just doesn't put them on the walls to begin with it's kind of annoying hmm will I have enough rails to complete like the other ones That's a good question. We have a lot of iron, though, so I don't think I should be in that big of a predicament if it comes down to it. I'm going to add the uh, powered rails on the way back. Because there's actually stairs here that I'm going to have to add powered rails to first. I'm not going to have to. I just feel like it. Well, I just burned through a couple stacks of rails really really quickly okay let's pop that over there yeah here what's a huh. <coughs> sorry about that I actually need to move this over a little Ooh, what the fuck okay further exploration needed I believe I'm just gonna cover it up with dirt I'm actually just gonna leave it somewhat open. Yeah, fuck that. Cause I think it helped with the help with the Hey look iron. Good. Good. Okay, and I think that's just gonna turn into here. It's gonna be claustrophobic, but whatever, it's not that big a deal. The reason why I have to move it over one is so it actually can go like that. See what I mean? We just have one here. I'm also gonna have to build one under, under here. Go do that. Uh, where are the levers? Here we go. Let's add that to that. Perfect. I'm gonna make this one. I think if I just do this, and then I just cover that up, it should be fine. <laughs> really sorry about the sniffling, guys. There's nothing you could do. You could do. I mean, I could blow my nose, but this, it's not even because there's a lot of phlegm. It's just because there's a little bit. Like, if there was a lot, every five seconds, I'd be good. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah. But I'm not. Okay. I don't think it needs to look pretty right now. Right now, it's just basically for... Uh, uh, what's it called? Use purposes. I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> Please don't sneeze. Okay, I'm not going to sneeze. Okay. It's actually so nice using levers as the uh, powered things, the powered rails, because I can just cover it up really easily. Be like, cook, cook. perfect. <coughs> Let's go ahead and see. This is a lot faster because you just basically have to do it once every. Oops. 15 or 16 blocks just so it doesn't lose momentum. And I'll come back and I'll finish them all up by like making it look better. 
Oh, covering up where the levers are. Don't know, don't know what design we're gonna use for the actual, like, I don't know how we're gonna make this, uh, this tunnel look, though. Hopefully we can make it look pretty cool. Turn, turn around, every time I want, I don't fucking know the song, guys. All I know is that I think it was in that movie, Blades of Glory. It was one of the songs they danced to, I believe. It's pretty funny. You guys, you guys should, go, should go see that movie. I forget who was in it. I think it's Will Ferrell and that guy from Napoleon Dynamite. I don't know what that actor's name is, guys. Leave me alone. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go blow my nose in a second because this is ridiculous. Next time I have to sneeze. Or something like that. Okay, so I think we have this done. Hopefully. Yeah, I think we should be good. Okay. Sweet deal. Awesome. Now now how I'm going to, how Zach and I are going to make this like actually like turn and stuff. I'm not sure. I just, I don't know yet. We're going to get to that, though, eventually. <sighs> okay, let's just see if it goes all the way. We'll join. I think that first boost is going to be the only thing that's going to be upsetting, but... Not upsetting, but... Questionable. Well, oh, God. I'm going to go blow my nose, guys. One second. And we're back. Okay. So what was the... What's the deal? Okay, one sec. I need a button. Do I have a button? I don't have a button. Crap. Hold on, can you just do it like this? Cool, you can. I don't think there's any point to that, though. So I'm just gonna remove it. Any of you who are interested in the spider spawner, though, we have Splash Potions of Harming. The way that it works is... I just finished doing it, so... Flick this switch. It opens up. And up a spawner on, down a spawner off, that just toggles lights. And right now, we just wait for um, spiders to come. Come on, spiders. Maybe because I just, like, had to... I don't know. I don't know why there's no spiders that are spawning. Like, I came back from a stack. Like, I played, um, played a game of Dota, and I came back. There was, like, 200 zombie uh, spiders. And I got a lot of stuff from it, and it was great. Yeah, see? And then they just come up here. And then eventually they all stack up. Then you hit this button. Closes in on them. Does a lot of damage. And then the top ones go back, but the bottom ones stay. So that you can like, go and get your items and everything. Then you put the switch again and it opens up. Great. Let's turn the lights back on. And sometimes spider jockeys come out and it's kind of cool. And there's an enchanting table right here. Cool. So let's go ahead and... Head back to spawn. Well, not spawn, but the hub area of the metro station. And I could start putting down tracks for the other the other areas because there's one of them. There's one track that goes directly to um, where all of our farms are, and there's another track that goes to um, um, what's it called? There's another track that goes to the skeleton spawner. I don't know what you can get from skeletons that's like special. Oh yeah, like enchanted bows, but that's like about it. Okay, so where is this going to take me? Oh, why is it turn? Why does it make me turn? Okay, that's kind of weird. Uh, this goes... This goes to the skeleton spawner. Yeah. Let's actually go and check out that this is the actual right one. Yeah! Super speed! Love it. 
Oh, no, this goes to the, uh, this goes to this open area. Yeah, and, uh, Zach and I have been working on a few of these farms, such as Carrot and Wheat Farm, which is way better than the other one that we had. You just flick the switch. Where's the switch? Where did we put that gosh darn switch? Switch. Seriously, this is, what the hell? Am I missing something? Did Zach forget to put in a switch? Oh, you. Oh, Zach. Well, I guess I'm going to be coming back to this later. Because I know you get your stuff down here. Alright, forget it. No switch today. This is going to go to the hub. Then you have the cow farm over there. Uh, reed farm down there. And then this is the hub. This goes to the uh, hub. I'm just going to put down the rails and replace the torches later. Actually, I need to go get some more. Some more of these things. Some more of these bad boys. Okay. Do I not have another stack? No, I don't. Sh shoot. Okay, let's go ahead and put down. Put down. It's very dark. Oh man. Sorry, it's just talking for this long. It hurts. It's sore. Th sore throat. Kind of sucks, but. Um, yeah, we have a bunch of iron. We actually have so much iron now. It's great. Go ahead, get some sticks. Ha, <laughs> Zach. Zach changed it up a little bit. I believe it's like this. Look at all those rails. My god. Oh, cool. Perfect. Got a bunch of rails. Now let's go back. <coughs> I apologize. I'm gonna be fine for school tomorrow. It's just that I didn't go today because I felt like death. But uh, tomorrow, I hopefully am not gonna be feeling that bad. But uh, I think I'll be fine. Everything will be a okay. By the way, you can just mouse over something. I didn't know this, but you can actually just mouse over something and click the number. Because these are all assigned to a number 1 through 9. And you can just press the number and it automatically switches it with it. So I could be like, I want my bow on that, levers on that, emerald on that, and then like rails. Just on that, you know. By the way, I heard that um, 1.5 is going to have extended range. On um, on all the good shiz, which I'm really excited about, and by the good shiz I mean beacons, which I'm really really excited about. And I don't mean in the commentator. I'm really excited to bring you guys this super duper commentary. Excited. I mean, I'm legitimately excited for it because it's gonna make our beacon that much better, and whatever beacon we decide to add in the future. Yeah, this needs to be changed. Shit. I think you could just do this, though. The fuck? Oh, skeleton spawner, right. I was like, eh, what is going on? Okay. Yeah, just like that. Just like that. <laughs> Look at that. That's gonna fucking... That's gonna trip somebody out. Let's gotta go down to the skeleton spawner. I don't know why Zach does this. I mean, I know that this doesn't work with rails. You need to have them like certain. Okay. That's the spawner for on and off. Up spawner, on, down spawner, up. up. It's the same one as our uh, as our zombie one. The exact same. So also we've got another enchanting table over here. Splash potion of healing. Healing works for. Healing works for uh, skeletons, which is kind of cool. Hmm. So how am I going to do this? I, I don't know how I'm going to set this up, but I'm going to set that up eventually. 
Okay, let's put that on that. Let's put levers on one. Cool. Levers on. Click. Okay. Click. And I think this should do it pretty much. Once I finish this. And the other one, of course. Oops. Sorry about that torch. Not sorry about that, comma, torch, but sorry about that torch that I destroyed. God fucking damn it. This is why I need my, my shovel back. But those of you who are, like, wondering, yes, we have three XP farms. It's great. It's awesome. It's Tokyo. I forget where that's from. Now, which way is this going to turn? Okay, good. Oops. Yeah. This power should be blocked. <laughs> this power should... This block should be powered. Sorry. That was a... That was a mess up. Awesome. Yeah! Thing kicked in. Great. Sweet. And I think every three. I don't need every two. Ah, go to hell. I hate you all. Gravel is the bane of my existence. Until I get my... I don't even want to. I don't even. Uh, okay, it's all right. Everything's fine. Why do I hear bats? Is there like a random cave system here? One would think so. With the sound of bats. Sucks that you can't make power rails turn. Click. I'm down for when the beacon gets extended though, because it's gonna extend to like something ridiculous. Something like, um, I think it's gonna close to double it, I think. If I, if my sources are correct, which they could very well not be. Okay. Now Zach and I are gonna have to figure out a way to redstone all of this so you only have to like hit one button or flick one six, flick one switch to make it go to the right place. That's gonna be a pain in the ass. Where is it? Okay. I think that's gonna do it for this episode. Uh, we got, actually, I got one. Mm, should I? Should I fix this one? I mean, it shouldn't take that long. Yeah, it's not, it's not that long at all. It's actually pretty damn short. That's what she said. To you! Er, her, er, her. Yeah, this should take no time at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Ah, oh, I love The Simpsons. Some people don't like The Simpsons, but I absolutely love it. It's just because they're clever. I mean, they don't they don't rely on, like, the big laughs, you know? Like, the big shock. Holy crap, that was terrifying. That was terrifying. Just because... Okay, I guess he's... <laughs> Maybe not. That was scary because I thought like that light was lava. Because whenever I like dig down, and there's like a light underneath me, chances are it's lava. God damn it! Not again! Where does this even lead to? No. Oh right, right. The 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 reed spawner. I was about to break it because because of curiosity's sake, but then realized. There's no point to that. Just use your noggin. Okay, this should be done any second. Any second. I can't wait till we get the redstone done though. It's gonna be it's gonna be weird. It's gonna be really weird. We're gonna have to like redesign the entire hub area. 
Yes. Speed kicked in. I sound like a drug addict. Oh god, the speed kicked in. <laughs> you guys know what I mean by speed, though. Okay, let's put steak on that. Cool. Let's go ahead and break that. And that should be it. One sec. Sweet. And that's going to be it for this episode. I still need to fix that up a little bit. But, uh, yeah, essentially, we have a lot of work to do on this metro station, just redstone-wise. I have no idea how we're going to do it. I think what we're going to do is something like back in our hub, uh, back in our old nether hub. I'm going to have all of this. I'm going to have it start, like, here. I'm going to have it start here, and just going to come down, and uh, the tracks are going to take you in, like, certain directions and everything. It's going to be a pain in the ass, though, because I'm going to have to study the redstone that Dart has and how it works and everything. Other than that, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Minscraft. Sorry I'm a little bit sick, but hopefully in my next few episodes that should go away because I'm taking lots of medicine. Fuck, please. Tastes awesome, and it works. <laughs> wow. Tastes awful, and it works. Tastes awesome. Doesn't taste awesome, guys. Unless you're a masochist. <laughs> Alright, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Peace. Breed. Don't ask me why it works, it just does, and now we have way too many. Okay, I think this is a bit out of my league to do live, so I'm just gonna give up on it now. <laughs> I move on to it later when I have more time. You know what? I feel like going to visit Dart's place. Dart hasn't been on the server in forever, but I don't know. Maybe you guys haven't seen what his place looks like in a while. I can't, I can't. I, oh. Oh. Whoa.